Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nikola Petković and in this video I'll be talking to you about the uh, latest launch in Dubai Creek Harbor by MR, a building that's called uh, Creek Palace North. Now, uh, we have spoke regarding Dubai Creek Harbor before. Uh, so if you want to look at this first part in more detail, you can check out one of my other videos on the channel. So I'll try to leave the link up here so you can... Uh, view it in one click and I'll leave the uh, link in this description as well. So Dubai Creek Harbor is an area right here which you can see uh, in this uh, red and white dots. Uh, it is kind of in between Dubai International Par uh, Airport and uh, uh, downtown Dubai and Business Bay right here. It's opposite uh, Dubai Frame as you can see the clearly right here. Now the area that we are sp speaking about is uh, fully developed by MR. It is a master development and it is, as you can see, on widest point of the Dubai Canal right here. So this is the area, uh, the closer look of it. So again, this entire area which you can see circled belongs to Dubai Creek Harbor. Uh, people are confusing it generally with this uh, half island uh, to be island right here. But we'll talk about uh, that as well. And as I said, you can see, uh, you can hear a lot of more about this in uh, any of my previous videos about uh, this particular area. Now, this is the uh, master plan for the full development for the full area of Dubai Creek Harbor. Uh, one of the things that you can notice is this uh, canal right here, which will be coming through and uh, it will be separating this Creek Island from the mainland part right here. It will be connected to four bridges, as you can see, and there will be four metro stations passing through as well. You can see here Dubai Creek Tower, which will be the newest, the new um, uh, highest tallest uh, building in the world, right? But let's focus now on this part uh, as we are looking into the actual uh, uh, property right here. So in this uh, particular plot right here is where the newest lounge is. And that's the building that we are talking about. So uh, Creek Palace North uh, is located right there. Then we'll have a uh, south part as well. And then in, uh, here in between of them, we have the actual Palace Hotel already. Now, this is where the canal will be coming through. And then we have a part of mainland. So from here, you will be able to understand some of the views as well. Uh, it will be waterfront from this side and then the actual development of mainland. And from the back side, it will be looking towards this central park in this area right here. Now, this is the uh, closer look at the master plan of the actual Creek Island. So you can see Creek Marina on the opposite side, some of the previous launches that I spoke about, some of the, which you have on the channel as well and subscribe to stay in touch with more of them. So you can see again precisely where the plot and the building is, Palace Residences North, with the building that uh, we are talking about today. And you can understand the views even better from this point, because you see there will be uh, views of the beach and the uh, mainland as well as the actual canal, right? On the back side, you're looking towards the community itself, towards the... Uh, Central Park, which is huge uh, and goes all the way between these buildings right here. Now, <clears throat> regarding this particular development, uh, this is a building that has that is a, a basement plus, plus ground plus 33 floors residential. Uh, and uh, what you can see here is a lot of retails and then you can see townhouses uh, above them and then the actual building with the rest of the floors starting from amenities and 33 residential floors right here. So it's consistent of uh, one, two and three bedroom apartments and then these uh, duplexes or townhouses as they call them right there as well. So you can see it's between the two uh, bridges right there. You can see how that will look. Uh, generally very attractive with a lot of uh, uh, retail and uh, uh, boardwalk areas right there. Now, this is some of the views on the front side. And you can see that uh, you can you can see that how visible the actual canal is. This is the part where the beach is. I'll show you later how that looks like. 
these are some of the developments that are already launched and under construction right now then others are coming and you can see in the background as well a lot of the uh, mainland uh, towers as they are uh, planned as well on the back side we have a view of this uh, this actual uh, a view towards this actual uh, central park which is between the buildings there as i have shown you uh, previously as well right so that's how it looks like on a larger scale and you can see here uh, where the actual artificial beaches uh, will be which are uh, under construction and let me show you how that actually looks right now so if you look on this video on the right you can you can see right here um, a short video of how that actually looks so MR is developing everything so we know that it is going to be uh, absolutely fantastic now this picture or this uh, render right here again showcase the same thing but you can see how wide the actual uh, boardwalk is and you can see a lot of other um, similar things that are coming around this is the retail we spoke about uh, in front of the building, so expect a lot of uh, cafes, restaurants and uh, actual retail shops, uh, shopping stuff and whatever else that can come there. Then on top of it, you can see the duplexes or the townhouses we'll be talking about further on. Uh, facilities, of course, as usual, some of the things that are always there, plus additional stuff, you can see the uh, pool and how it looks here. Uh, sort of infinity pool that is coming with the building itself and then we are looking at the actual apartment some of the render pictures for the apartments themselves so you can understand how uh, that will uh, look and the uh, color blends that are used to make this these apartments uh, very aesthetically pleasing as well that's the close-up for the actual kitchen now we have the living room right here floor to ceiling windows of course a closer look at that as well you can see the style of the balconies as well now we have the bedroom and uh, of course design for the bathrooms as well this is the material board so you can see uh, the paint on the walls you can see the internal doors you can see shutters or cabinets uh, porcelain tiles and you can see the stone at the backsplash and countertops of these particular apartments so that's what finishes of these apartments include so what's important let's understand the actual configuration of this particular project <clears throat> now uh, we have as mentioned one bedroom two bedroom and three bedroom apartments in this particular building and i'll showcase you right here how they actually are distributed through the building and what views they have all right so if you look at in this part right here how the building is right where these are all typical floors so that's what we are looking at now we have one bedroom units which are these four units right here 0, 01 0, 02 0, 09 and 10 so these are four uh, units that are all one bedrooms and they are looking directly towards the actual park area which i've shown you before right then uh, we have two bedroom units which will be in these two corners here and here and then on the other side in the middle so two bedroom units will be 03 08 05 uh, 05 here and 06 here right so the views for them uh, they are towards the park and then on the other side right here and here again towards the park for this corner and on the other side left side of the actual building and the frontal views belong to these two units of two bedrooms right here which are towards the actual canal and then the mainland we have seen and in the corners or the, on that side we have uh, three bedroom units which are 04 and 07 right there so let's get back to this one and check the actual units or layouts uh, for one bedrooms now you'll find two different styles of uh, one bedroom units so this particular type right here which is 638 square foot or uh, almost 60 square meters as you can see uh, quite a uh, 
quite a normal design for one beds. Uh, we have some corridor right here. Then entering to the actual living room, 5.3 times 3 meters. The kitchen part itself, 5.3 times 1.2 meters right there. Entrance to the balcony, 3.3 times 1.6. On the right side, we have the actual uh, uh, bedroom right there. And we have a bathroom outside, one full bathroom, which will be used by the bedroom and the uh, living room as well. And uh, laundry in between them. So that's the first type of one bedroom units. And this is the uh, second type for one bedroom units, which will be located right here. So it will be unit 02 and unit 09 will be the same and unit 01 and 010 will be also uh, the same. So this type of unit is uh, uh, very similar in size, 641 square foot or uh, almost 60 square meters again in total area. Uh, balcony 2.1 times 1.6 so balcony is slightly smaller to compare to previous one so uh, this one will have a larger slightly larger internal area and as you can see when you enter you have a lot more space in the actual living room 3.8 times 3.2 meters and 3.8 times 4.3 from here to here right then on the left side, uh, laundry, full bathroom right there, and the actual uh, bedroom. So very similar, uh, slightly larger internal area. This one 601 square foot of internal area, while the other one is 582 square foot of actual internal area. And that's it regarding the one beds. We'll check the two beds right now, which are again uh, in these two corners right here and then in uh, the middle units uh, right there where my mouse cursor is so uh, this type of units is located at this corner so 03 and 08 series will be the same uh, copy paste units pretty much we are talking about uh, 1113 1114 square foot or 103 <coughs> square meters as uh, as you enter it you have uh, first a master bedroom on the left with its full bathroom right there you are entering straight to the living room 6.2 times 2.9 meters you have a kitchen 5 meters times 1.7 there then an, uh, a smaller l-shaped uh, balcony 5.8 times 1.6 and then uh, behind it, or when you enter exactly on the right, you have a bedroom here, which is not in suite. Its bathroom is outside and it will be used by the uh, living room and that second bedroom as well. Now, the second type right here of uh, uh, these two bedroom units, they are coming with prime views, views over the canal and the uh, mainland. And these two units right here, 05 and 06, they are uh, copy paste units they are the same they are flipped actually by 180 degrees uh, which means the layout is completely the same here when you enter the apartment on this side you have the kitchen in the other one when you enter you will have kitchen on the opposite side so that's uh, that's it they're just flipped either way 1046 square foot or 97 uh, uh, square meters so slightly smaller in size uh, corridor is there you as as you're you're walking into the apartment on the right side immediately you have the laundry you're going straight to the actual living room kitchen four times 2.1 meters living room uh, 4.1 times 5.2 meters here you're entering the balcony 3.3 times 1.6 on the other side you have a uh, one full bathroom outside which is to be used by this uh, smaller bedroom right here and uh, uh, living room and uh, continuing straight you are entering the master bedroom which has its own bathroom attached now regarding three bedroom units uh, three bedroom units are located in corners right here with prime views so they are unit uh, or series 04 and 07 right here now here we are talking about uh, 1653 square foot or 153, uh, 154 square meters. Uh, what is fantastic here is that with this three bedroom unit you get a full on maids room as well. 3.3 times 2.1 meter, very good size. Uh, and with its own full bathroom right here, 1.5 times 2.1. So from the actual entry you have a powder room or a toilet. 
Then you are entering the actual living room, which is uh, 4.5 times 6.4 meters right there. Uh, excellent space. And you have a U-shaped kitchen right here, 3 meters times 2.9, with uh, uh, laundry space included there as well. So on uh, the other side, you have maid's room we discussed, then you have two bedrooms uh, next to each other, same size, 3.4 times 3.3. And opposite them, there is a full bathroom right here, which those two bedrooms will share. So we have a powder room or a guest toilet here for the living room and for your guests. And uh, these two bedrooms will be sharing a full bathroom right here, while master bedroom has, of course, its own bathroom attached. Uh, these, again, two series, 04 and 07, these units coming with prime views over the uh, canal and mainland area right here uh, they are absolutely the same now the last type of layouts we have to look is the actual uh, duplexes or uh, townhouses right here which are at the bottom of the building as you can see right here uh, they are 1911 square foot uh, or 177 square meters this is the upper level on the right side is the actual uh, uh, lower level right here so as you can see from the from the entrance right first thing you're entering through the uh, kitchen which is a very large 3.8 times uh, 5.1 meter then you have straight on living room 4 times 5.2 a uh, balcony here which is narrow 0 0.6 times 3.4 meters then you have a uh, maid's room right here. It's a full maid's room again, 2.7 times 2.1 with uh, full bathroom attached. Then you have one bathroom attached and the uh, bedroom right there. If you go downstairs from here, uh, you have your laundry right there. Then you have an additional study room right here, which is excellent size, 1.8 times 3 meter there. Uh, then you have two bedrooms on each side with uh, bathrooms attached. So a uh, bedroom right here, which is slightly smaller with its own bathroom. And you have a master bedroom on the other side right here, 3.9 times 5.4.5 uh, meters, sorry, with its own uh, balcony right there, with the, which is 3.1 times 1.9. Then you have a beautiful uh, walk-in wardrobe right here where you are passing by directly to uh, full bathroom right there so that's it regarding the unit types and configuration of this particular building now we'll talk about the payment plan and actual prices so payment plan uh, as you can see right here 10 percent for the actual down payment uh, and another 10% in April, 10% in October of 2023. Then for the next year, we have two installments of 5% each in April and October of 2024. Then two, per, uh, uh, two installments of 10% each in April and October again of 2025. Then again, two installments of 10% in 2026, April and September this time. And on the actual uh, completion of the building, in june which is expected in june 2027 the 20 for the handover now regarding the prices as you can see one bedrooms will be starting from uh, 1.23 million two bedrooms starting from 1.72 million and three bedrooms uh, simplex units starting from 3.03 .03 million dirhams uh, regarding the waterfront townhouses they will be starting from 4.19 million dirhams uh, overall, we have 335 units, again, one, two and three bedroom uh, units with three bedroom townhouses. There is only 10 townhouses of uh, uh, three bedroom units. Now, regarding the townhouses itself, of course, overall, again, uh, 33 floors. So uh, very good entry, uh, very good uh, uh, tickets regarding the prices. One beds, only 1.23, two beds. 1.72 uh, for an excellent uh, size units so generally very very good uh, two bedroom units and three bedroom units with prime views again if you are interested in one of these units you want to buy a unit you want to book it for yourself 
make sure you get in touch with me. You have my contact details below. Uh, you have a link in description and uh, I'll pin one in a comment as well. So you are one click away from having a WhatsApp chat with me and then we can take things uh, further from there. Uh, thank you very much. If you like this uh, video, if you find it helpful, share it with someone who you know might be interested in. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. And thank you very much for your time. Take care.